this weapon system finds and destroys targets day or night. This one flies thousands of miles without refueling. This weapon system flies supersonically at treetop level. This one can carry virtually any conventional or nuclear weapon in the military inventory. This weapon system flies at more than twice the speed of sound to altitudes of 60,000 feet. They are all the same weapon system. The variable sweep wing F-111A tactical fighter now operational with the Tactical Air Command. Operational F-111As have been here at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada since last October. Here's what men of the 474th Tactical Fighter Wing say about their new weapon system. An F-111A maintenance officer. The F-111 is engineered and designed well. Maintenance was well thought out. Everything on the F-111 is tailored to fit. An F-111A squadron commander says this. When you consider our amazingly high utilization rate with a completely new system, you have to believe it will perform operationally in the same manner. I'll say one thing, from what we've seen so far, I'm convinced it will be an excellent combat aircraft. An F-111A pilot. This weapon system is the most advanced I've ever seen. Unbelievable. It's far advanced over anything else we have. It's no longer necessary for a pilot to even see the terrain or target. The F-111 is the forerunner of all other aircraft to come. More than 5,000 flight hours of development, testing, and crew training have been amassed by the F-111 aircraft at the time the first production aircraft was delivered. These development airplanes were flown and evaluated throughout the largest speed and altitude envelope ever achieved by a tactical airplane. F-111 takes off from short airstrips. Some F-111s have had their wheels off the ground using less than 2,100 feet of runway. Sweep the wing back, and the F-111 flies as fast as two and one-half times the speed of sound. F-111s have made hundreds of flights at speeds of Mach 2 or above. Use a partially extended position for best cruising configuration. With their wings set at 26 degrees, two F-111s cross the Atlantic, flying more than 3,000 miles on internal fuel only. Sweep the wing back and use the terrain following radar to penetrate an enemy target at low level, under 1,000 feet. shows the airplane and the supersonic shock wave it generates. The terrain following radar allows pilots to fly supersonically and safely. 
manually or automatically, hidden by the hills at preset ground clearances. F-111s have conducted the longest, low-level flights ever made at supersonic speeds. Load the wings and internal bay with weapons, bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, a rapid-fire cannon that fires 6,000 rounds per minute from rotating barrels. The Air Force has announced that radar bombing test results show that the F-111A is more accurate than any other fighter bomber in the inventory. The aerodynamic efficiency of the F-111's variable sweep wing is matched by the propulsive efficiency of its two TF-30 afterburning fan jet engines. Thrust of the afterburners can be varied or modulated by the pilot to regulate fuel consumption even at high speeds. Each generates 20,000 pounds of thrust. Extend the wings for landing approach speeds of about 113 knots and touchdown speeds as low as 105 knots. Some F-111 landings have been made with less than 2,000 feet of ground roll. F-111 aircraft have repeatedly demonstrated their ability for ease of maintenance and quick turnaround at more than 20 different bases, including four in Europe and in Alaska and Panama. More than 250 pilots have flown and evaluated the variable wing aircraft. A new degree of crew safety is afforded by the F-111's crew module, which is both an operational cockpit and an escape vehicle. This high-speed sled test shows the sequence of events. In an emergency, an explosive cord shears the module from the fuselage, and a rocket motor powers it clear. The module is lowered by parachute and landing is cushioned by inflated bags beneath the module. The full ejection capability will include zero speed and altitude or any point in the F-111's performance spectrum. More than 40 F-111As are now in various stages of major assembly on the F-111 production line. By mid-1968, the Fort Worth Division of General Dynamics will be producing 10 aircraft a month, including the first F-111Cs for Australia. Other versions of the F-111 now in flight development are the U.S. Navy F-111B Fleet Air Defense Fighter, which is scheduled for carrier trials during the next few months, the FB-111A Strategic Bomber, and the RF-111A reconnaissance aircraft. 
The initial order for F-111s calls for more than 400 aircraft in five versions for two countries. Testimony to the inherent versatility and utility of the world's first operational variable sweep wing aircraft.